Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do this garage kit. So for me, I am um, taping everything together as this is the first time I'm putting it together. So it's taped to make sure all my parts are fitting and everything and make sure that my garage door is going to work. And I'll show you real quick with it taped together so you get an idea. Now the only thing I didn't do, which I will show you how to do with different wood, is the garage door because I had to do that ahead of time. So I'm going to untape everything and then we're going to start from scratch. All right, so to start with, this is the roof. I've kept the outside taped together, and that way I know where it went. And I've got the edges even. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some wood glue here and some crazy glue for long hold. So the wood glue will give it a long hold and the crazy glue will give it that quick hold that we need. Make sure to keep it flat with the surface below when you're doing it. And I've also given you these little brackets. I'm going to go ahead and put those on there as well. And what they're going to do is they're going to help me keep it even. And that's going to be your roof. We'll let that dry. Okay, so I'm going to leave some tape on the bottom here, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply some glue and this can be for either side. So I'm going to install mine over here. Um, I'm going to apply some glue right on the bottom of here, here, and here, and then on the inside along this edge so that it sticks. I'm just using some wood glue for now and I'll also use some crazy glue for a quick hold. Just put it on there. Do not put glue on this piece. I got ahead of myself. Okay, now you are going to attach this here on top of those little notches. When you have it attached, wipe the excess glue off from the outside and take your tape that you have and run it back up. Try to get it as square as you can while it's drying. OK, 
Okay, the next step is going to be lining this up with the bottom and gluing it to that. Okay, so you're going to have to put glue along here and along here. Now remember, you don't have to go the whole way with this because you're only getting where the door is. And on this part, you would go. Just to ensure that I've got it, I'm just going to put the rest of it that's on my finger on here. And I'm going to also do a little dab of crazy glue. Maybe, if I can get it to come out. I think I clogged the lid. So now I'm making sure that I get the bottom even with the bottom. side attached over there, making sure that's flat and even as well. I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to attach it to it. Sorry about my arm being in the way. It's an awkward position. Right, now once you have that there, then you want to take your garage door pieces that look like this, and you're going to have two. You're going to glue the first one in place. I'm going to run a bead of glue. Right along that seam. And I'm going to bring it out into this little area here a little bit. Then I'm going to take some and go right along here and here. Gonna also attach some crazy glue for a quick hold. And I'm gonna make sure that's all the way down and all the way against that door. this point if you have glue still in here take your tool that you have and you want to take it and run it across there so it builds up a bead around that edge if you don't have that use a popsicle stick or something that way it builds up the bead within that hole now I'm going to take this in there and I'm going to wipe off the excess that I don't need, but I want it to beat up along the edge as much as possible.
and then that's your first step to the garage door. Now you're going to do the same exact thing on that side that we just did over there to the back side. And we're going to glue that in place just like that. Apply some glue here and here. Great, I have the glue there now, so now I'm going to go ahead and attach the side. I'm going to make sure that it's even on the bottom. And along the edge. Okay, so at this point, you want to put glue on the side of your side panel so it'll attach here, which will be right along here, and that's the side with your door. And then you want to put it on this side as well. And then you're going to put glue inside here, here, and here, and then along the middle pieces that are notched out there. I'm going to go ahead and attach glue, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're just going to slide this in place right along there and along there wrap that tape around if your tape happens to stick to your wood just sand it off and it'll be fine taping it to hold it in place. All right, now for the next door thing here, it gets a little bit tricky, okay? To do the door, it comes in four parts. Basically what I've done, and I'll Okay, so I've lined all four pieces of wood up that's for the door. Then I took a piece of masking tape and I went on this side of the door and a piece on this side of the door. Now y'all have to get masking tape for this project because it does not come with the kit. After I did that, obviously the door has flexibility, right? But I want it to last. So what I did is I took a piece of cardstock and I put that in there. You can cut it on a paper cutter if you like, but for this one, I'm just going to show you how to do it this way. Once it's dry, you can remove the excess. All right, now I'm gonna just go ahead and line this whole thing with glue. Now, if you do not have a glue spreader, I sell them on my website, and it looks like this. It basically gets a nice, even coat all the way around. keeps that glue from getting gunked up in one area versus evenly spread.
and just wipe it off when you're done. Now, I'm gonna also take a dab of crazy glue and put in each of the corners. And then one down the middle. Gonna attach this on here. Just like that. And the excess I can trim off if there is any that overhung. Which it should be pretty much even. It's a little crooked, it's because I put it on crooked, but. That's okay, you can trim that off. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to give it extra stability. And I like binder clips for this because it makes it easier. Okay, and then your door will have stability. You can do one layer of that or two, whatever you prefer. And then that's how you would do the garage. So when attaching your garage door and your final part it's kind of tricky because you have to put it in the way that it's gonna go in, right? But you have to feed your door through there first. And this time you can't use that much glue because your door is actually in there. So what you need to do, and I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna try and make it the way you can. What you need to do is you need to put it in the other side as well. So before you glue it, it has to be within this track. So. I'm gonna put some glue in this corner. I'm not gonna do as much, and I'm gonna rely on the crazy glue for this one more so. Got a little bit too much ran down in the corner because I'm trying to hold it at an angle for you guys to see. So I'm going to remove that out of there. I'm going to try and spread that in that corner just a little bit more than I have it. Okay, now, along this part here, I'm going to put some glue, and I'm going to put some back here and across here because my door is not up there, but I can do that there. But for the rest of this, I'm going to do just a very little bit of crazy glue because what happens is if you get too much, then your door will stick to it and you don't want that. Okay, now that I have the glue, I'm sliding it in the track on the other side. And then I'm gonna slide this in place just like that. Make sure my door is still there. Pushing it dead up against the front. And making sure I have that nice and square. The last thing I want to do is glue this door where it doesn't open. Looks like I've got it pretty good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take some of this wood glue and I'm going to put it right along the top of my door because remember, we didn't put that much glue on that piece there. That's why we put extra glue on the other side so it's not so wonky. Just going to rub that glue right in there. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna put some glue right along this edge. Because the next step is to put the roof on. For the second level. Or I should say the floor for the second level, the attic. Okay, so now that that's done, here's your attic. You can put it this way and have your steps in front of there where you put your ladder or you can do it this way. It's up to you. But you need to apply some glue here and here like we did before. And 
once you have that glue on there, you can also use crazy glue if you like. Just be careful when you use the crazy glue because you don't want to put it in the wrong place and then have it where it doesn't want to stick on you. Alright, so now it's all in place and there's the second floor. The very last part of this is the roof, which you want to put the opening on this side. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your roof on and it's going to go right there. So, put some glue along here, 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 and here. I'm not worried about caking it because you're not going to see it underneath once I get done. I'm going to wipe off my edges. on the outside. Okay, now you have the exterior that you need to finish. Now this part I'm not going to show you in this tutorial because I need to do the outside of this a different way. Like I need to paint it or whatever, siding, I'm not sure. But once you've put your siding on, then you wanna put your plexiglass on top of this. And this part I will show you real quick. Basically, you are gonna put a little bit of crazy glue, not a lot because it will come through on your window. And you want to keep it near the edge. Attach your window to the plexiglass. Just like that. If you're going to paint it, paint it before you attach it though. If you use too much, of the glue it's going to come over into your window and then your window is going to look nasty so use caution when using this now you want to go ahead and cut that excess window off and then you would glue that right on there and then you would have a window on the side just like that. Take a knife and just go over and cut the excess off of that that's sticking out. But that's just a quick throw together window to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna set this on the side and I'm gonna show you how to do the ladder and the vents. And then we'll also do the door as well. Just gotta find all my pieces. But for the build, it's done other than that. These pieces are just other things I was printing, so you don't need those. They won't even be in your kit. I just have a bag of everything, basically. Oh, and to do the handle for the garage door, you just glue it in the two square holes that are there, one on each side. You're going to actually put glue on the outside of this, just a tiny bit.
just like that. All right, now you wanna go ahead and put the glue around the edge. And I will warn you, my fingers are getting gunked up from all this rubbing of glue, so you, you might want to wear gloves. And then you just put the vent right inside the hole. If you want to paint it, of course paint it. If you want to put siding on, then put the siding on before you put this in the hole, because it's going to stick out a little bit and you want the siding to be behind your frame. So. I am gonna leave this off because I don't want to do that yet until I do the exterior. But just so you get an idea of what it'll look like. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you have a round or half round window here. You're gonna do the same exact thing that we did with this window with the glass to this one and then you're gonna glue that in place right there on top of that and then that'll give you your glass if you don't want to mess with the glass don't leave it just glue it on like it is and nobody's gonna yell at you it's your dollhouse okay so here's your door again you're gonna do the same thing with this glass as we did with the others you want to cut your plastic to go around this and then glue it on here But for the door handle, this is what we're going to do. It's going to go right in there, just like that. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on the back of that one and paint it first if you want to paint it. Again, I'm doing this kit as a very raw kit, so I'm not doing that. And then you want to do the same thing to the back of this one. Then you have a handle on both sides. If you don't like this handle, that's fine. Just put some wood filler on there and then you don't need to use a handle like that. You can use something round like these here and then you can put them on there. Just fill in the one little thing with some wood filler. Now to do the hinges for this, it's much like all the other kits that I've done. We're gonna glue this here in place and this is the L bracket you just put it right in there and you want to make sure that it's even with the surface so actually I'm gonna move it over here a little bit since I already put the handle on there So it gets glued right in that spot. Just putting some extra glue on there to hold that in place. It will dry white though, just so you know if you're using crazy glue. It has a weird way of doing that. Okay, now, this one, again, will go inside here. And it will go just like that. The holes are on the left. Now, once that's completely dry, if you don't want to see the white, Take a little bit of sandpaper over it. And you can sand off your little burn marks too from the laser. It's just the nature of the beast. So now you have 
this part here, we have four of the little straight pieces that look like this. We're going to be gluing them in these holes. Hopefully you can see that. The lighting is not the best down here. As I drop everything. All right, so I'm going to just put a little bit of crazy glue right there in each of these holes. Find another toothpick because uh, the other one's probably buried underneath this somewhere. And rub it around. You can also do some wood glue if you like. These are going to go with the holes facing up and down. So you want to have the holes where they can be hinges. So put it in with it this way. Wood glue has a tendency to stick your fingers, so be careful. I think I use more sandpaper on my hands, <laughs> scrubbing them and lotion because of the crazy glue than anything. Okay, give that a second to set up. And then what you're gonna do is this door will fit right within those hinges, just like that. All right, so the head pens won't come with the kit, but you can use them. But they have to be head pens, not stick pens. Head pens are a little bit better of a head. Put that in there. See how fat that head is on that head pen? A stick pen wouldn't be that wide on the top, so that wouldn't work out so well. There we go. Now, once you have that in there, bend it up, like push it all the way down and bend it up like that. Then you wanna take your wire cutters or whatever you have that you use to cut your head pens with and you want to snip it off just a little bit above that bend. And then you can take something that you have that's flat. It can be the same thing that you just did. And just make sure you bend it in there so it's not poking you. And then your door should open and close with ease. And I know you're looking at this sideways, but it will do it when it's vertical too. One more thing that you can do, it comes with these two pieces here. If you want to dress it up a little bit, you can, but you do not have to. You can put just a dab of glue right there on that top hinge. Be sure not to let it get inside your other hinge, otherwise you'll end up locking your door shut. But these little pieces here fit right down in there like that to give that hinge a little bit of decoration. Add your window after you paint your door and do whatever you're doing to your thing. Shingles will not be included. Siding and stuff like that won't be included in the kit. So um, that's something you'll have to get on your own. But I'll post the link below for that. And then 
now that we've got that done, you have an option that comes in the kit to get it with a tool bench and a shelf. This is the tool bench. You have the option for that. And you can just kind of put it in there like that. And then if you want to get that as an added thing, you can. And then you also have this shelf. If you want to do this shelf, then what you need to do is you need to put a little bit of glue on the top. I'm just going to do crazy glue for this one. And hold it flat and put it across the edge like that. And then you should measure this from that end to that end, but for the video, I'm not going to. I'm just going to guess at it. And then there you have a shelf. And you can put the shelf above that. I have to take you down and put... If you decided to get the tool bench, you can put the shelf above it. Just measure up and then decide where you're gonna put it. The tool bench, there's a tutorial on that as well, so you can look that up and then see if that's an option that you'd like to add to the kit. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this and I'm gonna attach this shelf. And then we'll do the ladder and then that'll be the end of that. Now keep in mind, when you're putting your shelf here, your ladder has to go there as well. Now for the very last accessory is the ladder bill. And then this kit will be done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here like this. And then I'm just gonna put some glue on each side of this. Just like that. And then I'm gonna put one in each hole. Don't forget to square it up. I didn't do that for the first one. I guessed at it. continue that process all the way down. Okay, once you get them all done, then you have to put this on the other side. While doing that, you cannot use crazy glue for this part because this is kind of a work and go as you are doing it. So if you use crazy glue for the other side, it'll dry before you get it on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and I'm gonna just kind of go in each one of these little holes just a little bit. wipe off the excess and there should be enough left inside and then we'll wipe it off on the outside. Now it's like a puzzle. You just want to feed them in the holes.
you have to lift them up to get them in there, that's fine. Okay, now you want to squish them all together. Turn it over and take that glue off of that exterior with a damp cloth. Don't press too hard, but press right on the surface of each knot to make sure they're securely in there. If you press too hard, you will snap it, so don't do that. It's only an eighth inch thick. And then there you have a ladder. At this point, you can put your ladder right up in this hole and then you can access your attic space. When you're done with your ladder, just stick it along the side like it would be in a regular garage or you could put something to hang it on the wall. You can hang it on the wall above your door, like that. Or you can hang it over here. Or you could just leave it set up. I mean, unless you're really going to put a car in here, um, then it's not going to work. Now, I will tell you, this will hold um, a car, but it will not hold a 112 car. Because 112 car, car is almost like too big for anything doll housing. So you have to buy like the 118th. And the 118th looks more realistic. So the doors and the windows and the height and everything is scaled to the 112. But the car length is a little shy for the width. The interior is just under 8 inches wide interior. And the exterior of it is 16 and 3 16 from the front to back. That's not including the roof. The roof is a little bit wider. So just so you know. And then the total height, it's around 13 and three quarters. So it's pretty cool for um, a garage for 112. I like it. Okay, so here's what it looks like, minus the windows and the vent. And just so you can see what the vent would look like again. It would be like that. And I'll show you the windows as well. So you can get a kind of an idea as we go without the plastic on it. That would be what it'll look like. And this is the side. Oh yeah, as you can see, the door opens. It does not open inward, it opens outward, but it opens fully. So it is a fully functional door. Here's your attic. With your ladder. If you want to add the tool bench, you can. And then there's your garage. And then the back. And again, that's a vent at the back as well. So you can see this in scale. Here's a 112th doll next to the door. Here he is next to the garage door. And just so you guys know, um, I make this on the Glowforge Pro. And I use a graphic design program to design all of this. So if that's something that um, you're interested in, let me know and I'll give you a link for a discount. So 
hard to do that with one hand, but you can see the garage door opens. I <laughs> keep grabbing it, sorry, dropping it inside. But there you go.